How y'all been together for? For like a year and a month. A year and a month? Okay, okay so look, do y'all trust each other? Yeah. You trust her? Oh, yeah. You trust her? Yeah. I'm gonna switch phone for 50 seconds. That's cool with you? Yeah. That's cool with you? Yeah. That's his best friend. His mom. His sister. His cousin. Hold on, so you know everybody through the phone? Yeah. Basically, okay. okay. Alright, so now we finna go through her phone, man. I thought it was only your phone. Huh? I thought it was only your phone. No. Yeah. Both of you, like, making couple still phone. So both of y'all got still phone. Yeah, my phone died. It died. Y'all we, we, saw her turn it off, right? It died. No, it died. It died. And she turned it off, man. She turned it off. I seen her. I seen her turn it off. Right. You know, proof it died. No, I'm not. Now why are you hiding it? Your phone was just at a hundred. I didn't turn it off. It was just at a hundred, right? I swear she just turned it off. I didn't believe it before. You trust me. You trust me. Why are you gonna believe him? You were just in the park. You didn't have your phone. No, my phone died. Turn it on. No. Try, to, try to turn it on. It died. No. It died. All right, man. I don't know, man. He passed the test, but she fell. Yeah. I passed. Both y'all together fell. I'm going to let y'all marinate in that for a second. Let's take a step back right quickly, okay? Right here. Okay? Y'all all saw this part right here. Okay? You go there. You go to my mom. And then as soon as the phone enters her hand... Everybody knows how these phones turn off. Watch this thumb right here. That right there. Watch the thumb. The thumb went immediately to turn off. If y'all know anything about iPhones, let me show you. Or anything about it, guess any regular phone. Uh, here you go. So as soon as I want to turn off my iPhone, what do I do? Power button. Power button. Just like that. Why would I do this? Why would I pick up my, because when I'm holding my phone, I don't tend to go from here to about to show you something like, oh, okay, let me unlock my phone. I don't go and then go right to get ready to turn it off. That's not how I do it. I, I, my thumb doesn't go up here if I'm about to open the phone. Why would my thumb ever have to go up there? <clears throat> now, what's got me so fired up about this? This is just one instance, but we're going to break down this one. Then we're going to break down another video. This part right here. Why are you hiding it? No, Your phone was just at a hundred. I didn't turn it off. It was just at a hundred, right? No, I swear she just turned it off. I didn't believe it before. You trust me. You trust me. Wow! That's where I lost my mind. See, this is why men, uh, I made that video not too long ago talking about men. Can men walk away? Okay? The reason I made that video, because at this instance, most men have got to learn not even to argue no more. As soon as you hear my phone died, you just go, you know what? Hey, you know what? H how about I just take you home and I'm, I'm just going to do some thinking, you know? Now, you got to be careful because <laughs> letting somebody in your car who's going to, who could go crazy on you, you never know. So what I would do, be like, you know what? You're right. You know, I'm sorry. Maybe you just let the night play out, play all happy and giggly. <laughs> And as soon as you get to the her crib, be like, all right, babe, good night. End it right there. That's when you wait till her to get in the house and be like, it's over. Don't contact me. Don't text me. I don't need no explanations. You're fake. You lied. And then you gaslighted me about. See, men, y'all got to start getting to the point where y'all start taking y'all's power back. You have a right to respect yourself, men. You have a right to be able to say, hey, you know what? You blatantly disrespected me right there in public. And then you gaslighted me as if I'm a fool. Oh, we're not playing that game. She, she ain't your wife. So you be like, I'm, hey, I thought you were something different. Fuck all that. <laughs> all of that. And you know what she's going to do, men? She's going to erase all the messages, all the pictures, all the stuff. And she's going to be like, fine, here's my phone. Look at it. Look at it. Mm -mm. You say, no, you know what? I'm good. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I hope life goes well for you. Many blessings to your people. And then you're going about your day. But see, what we see more today, 
is men are so afraid of being by themselves. Men are so afraid of being alone that he thinks that this is the best that he can do. Let's be real with ourselves. Y'all think so? He's a big fella. So he probably thinks this is the best that he can do is this because he's a bigger guy. All right. Let's go back to the beginning. I've been together for like a year and a month. So y'all see right here. Y'all see right here. Bigger guy. Bigger guy. Probably over 200. He probably thinking this is the best he can do. And let me tell you something, fellas. You could do much better than this because it's not about. How, I love how she's wearing this right here. But uh, too many times we think that this is the best we can, especially young men. I, I, I tell young men all this time. I tell young men this all the time. When you're in your 20s, it's about to be a long road for you, buddy. It's about to be a long, long road. Because you're going to get gaslighted. You're going to get told this is the best you can do. You'll never find a woman like, you'll hear women say that to you. You'll never find a girl better than me. You'll hear so many women put you down because you don't make enough money. You can have so many women put you down because they think they're the best thing to ever hit the planet. And you know what, men? Don't hate. If a girl feels like she's the best thing on the planet, let her have it. Be like, fine. You know what? You got it. Stop arguing with these women. I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If these women want to be like that, you let them. <laughs> We're going to start letting these women just die out. We're not going to argue with them. We're not going to. Uh, say, hey, you know what? You should just, you need to know better than me. You you would be happy with a man like me. Mm -mm -mm. All we're going to start doing is, all right, ma'am, I understand. You, you got it. You got it. You got it. Apparently, you think that you're further along than me. You feel like you can do better than me. Okay, I wish you the best of luck. And we're going to start letting them go. Let, let these birds fly out of the nest and let them hit the ground hard as. Right, not the curse. Let these women hit the ground as hard as they can. Just and be done with it. Make it simple, man. I mean, make it so dang simple. Type of shit your grandma understand what an old ass. It's the type of stuff your grandma can understand. So we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna let it go. We're gonna let it fly. Let's get into the next woman that I saw. I caught you once again cheating on me. All I want is my clothes and I will leave. May I please have my clothing items so I can get the hell out of the house? I asked you to leave anyway. I am leaving. Can I please have my clothes? You can come back later. No, I'm not coming back. Well, then you can call my me. clothes are right there. All I need is the things in the dryer. That's it. And I'm out of here. Can you please move out of the way so I can get my clothes and I will leave? You can call the cops. So that you can be with Michael. You can call the cops. I don't want to call the cops. I just want my clothes and I will leave. Okay. May I please have my clothes? No. Why? Why can't you just go be with him? Why do you have to string me along and pretend like you don't like the guy after the shit that I just read? Just let me go, Kate. Be with him. He's right there. I'm over it, man. I'm done being punked. Just let... You can keep everything. Let me have my clothes mm, mm, so mm. I can leave. And that's it. I you won't can bother you. You your recording down. No, I'm not. Because this is... I have to. Then you can call the cops. Because everything that you say is a lie. Then you can Just call Just like the how cops. you and Michael are done. He's uncircumcised. You can call the cops. Okay. I, Kathy... Now, you bet you're wondering why he would even mention the uncircumcised thing. There's uh, some things, the religious things that come with that component about being uncircumcised. But uh, nonetheless, let's uh, take a step back. I wouldn't even get my clothes. But you know, see, this is... Whoo, bring it down. This is some of the stuff that you women don't understand. Y'all really don't understand what a man will do. When a man's done... When a man's like, fuck it. Guess what he decides to do? He'll be like, ah, you can keep every fuck. Whew. 
Beyond taking these headphones, you know. <laughs> Let me just take these headphones, get my head back together. Hey, Mike. Almost. Men are willing to lose everything and start back from scratch than be with you. You see, that's the difference between men and women. And you hear women say all the time, oh, you know, don't depend on the man. He could, he could take everything from you. But a lot of times we see a man will give up everything not to be with you. Everything. We hear sometimes how women take half and all this kind of stuff. It's true. Does it devastate a man? Is it going to hurt? Of course. But you think a man would just be like, you know what? See, that's why women divorce. Because men could take a lot. But if you hear men say, I'm done. Because how's he going how's he gonna show his face in public? Because he knows this guy. He knows the guy that she's cheating on. So she has to come face. He has to come face to face with that man. She has publicly embarrassed him. And you know that guy's telling everybody everything. She's already broke this man. And he's gotten to the point where he's like, you know what? You can have it off. F it. I'll go find a one bedroom. I'll go find a studio. $4.99 a month, depending on where you live. I'll go find a studio that I can afford. It's just going to be a living room, the bedroom, everything all in one. And I'll start from nothing. I'll get a blow up mattress and we just going to start from the bottom again. And you can have it all. You can have the house, the couches, the washing machines, everything. But this woman right here, just like we saw with the other young lady, she won't even let him have his effing clothes. The man said you can have the whole damn house and everything in it. Can I just have my clothes, please? Just so I have something to wear. No. These Women, women have gotten so disgusting. This world and society has taught these women that they can get away with everything. We, we have to coddle them. But the problem is what we've done. And I understand so many people are like, the way men used to treat women back in the day and blah, 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 blah. Not knowing, just running their mouth, not knowing nothing. But look what's happened. Men have stepped back and said, maybe you're right. Maybe men were too harsh. So we have stepped, I mean, damn near off the cliff and gave women everything they wanted. And look what they do. They talk about having a roster. They talk about how they don't need men. They divorce men at a much higher rate than men divorce them. They don't fight through nothing. They want to be, you see 40 year old women still dancing in the clubs, dancing on TikTok, showing their butt, butt cheeks. You see all these women who get on their OnlyFans. If they're not on that, they get on Instagram. Hell, they'll get on Facebook. And still show them cheeks. Some way, somehow. They will always have a best friend who is the male that they talk to whenever times get hard. Talk behind their husband's back. We just talked. We just heard about the woman who bluntly allowed her man to be embarrassed by calling him a harmer, if you know what I mean. She could have defended her husband if she decided not to. She decided to, ah, you know what? I'm going to just let this go on. See, what women have stopped understanding is how powerful their words are. In a society today, they are damn near untouchable sometimes. Women will say stuff about men and their husbands and their boyfriends that can destroy their lives just like that. And they might not get right to that point, but they'll say stuff slick. They'll talk to their single girlfriends about, yeah, Mike, he's just not making that much. Yeah, Mike, Mike, he's there for the kids, but not as much as I want him to be. It's that kind of stuff right there that drives me nuts. Why would you? Why do you women decide to do this? See, when that, that, young, that woman we were just talking about in the video, when she was cheating on her husband or her boyfriend, whatever. You know how she was breaking it down to all her friends. Ah, uh, you know what? He He's just not home enough. When I need it, he can't give it to me. He don't make that much. And she's probably laughing with her little single friends. <laughs> yeah, you know, I got Michael on the back burner. You know what I'm saying? 
wanted to destroy her whole life. And then women will talk down on these men. They're bums. They're, they're nothing. They're broke boys don't deserve no pussy. I know that's right. They say all of that. And when a man asks for his clothes back, they can't do it. Now they want to be like, oh, no, you can't even have your clothes. These women have become so egotistical, believing they can run the world. And what I've said, men, the, <laughs> me personally, the only way I believe that these women will die out is if we just stop fooling with them. If you want to know what a woman really acts like, if y'all really want to know how a woman really acts, you got to say one magical word to her and see how she reacts. Tell a woman no. Tell a woman no and see how she reacts. If you tell her no and she goes ballistic, walk away. If, she, if you tell her no and she says, but why? Okay, you give her an explanation. That's fine. And if she goes ballistic, you leave. But how a woman reacts when you say no, she, she, her only responses that could be good is, her asking for an explanation sometimes, that's fine. Or her saying, okay, that's it. Conversation over. It never needs to be no. What do you mean no? You tell that girl to do one thing. Stop it, man. Learn how to walk away from these women and let them die alone. It sounds harsh, but that's the only way we can move forward. So, men, leave these women alone. They're disgusting. Don't play with them. If you even get one ounce of a red flag, leave. Don't try to fix it because don't let your friends tell you, well, she's fine, though. Dog, she a freak in the sheets, though, dog. That I promise you. And I want to say this. Do not get caught up in how well a woman can have sex. If you get caught up in that, men, especially if you're looking at the adult entertainment, if you're on the hub all the time, okay, and you're caught up in that world, you're going to be <laughs> one of the easiest victims out there. Men who are stuck in the adult industry, looking at the hub every day, worried about how good it's going to feel. You guys are screwed because women are just going to put it on you and you're just going to fall so in love with that, that she's going to tear you to. Sh and that's why. That's why we warn men against this. Y'all may think it's fun and games, but getting addicted to the hub. You're going to find out the hard way. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Bye.